What's up, Broom fans? Welcome back to this week's episode of Brew and Banter with our special guest, Kendall Paul. Oh! <laughs> That wasn't post -down. That wasn't post -in. That was neither. post -in. post -in. I'm sweating. <laughs> What's up, Bruin fans? Welcome back to this week's episode of Bruin Banter with our special guest, Kenny Poston. Well, Kendall, but I know her as Kenny. We're really lucky and excited to have you on the show today. Well, thanks for having me. Of course. This past weekend, the Bruins competed at the Collegiate Challenge powered by Under Armour in Anaheim, California, which is my hometown. Pretty awesome. So how did it feel to compete so, like, in your hometown? Honestly, I had so many family friends there, my family was there, and being up on podium just in that arena so close to home was, it was awesome. Yeah, for sure. As most of you have heard, the Bruins did extremely well this past weekend, and someone may or may not have went viral. I mean, who knows? If you don't have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, any type of social media, then you wouldn't know. But if you did, then you know. You know. You know. And we're going to talk about that later. So let's get into the meat recap. So Kyla had another huge vault this weekend, only taking a small hop forward before she scored in 9.875. The star of that rotation was none other than Kenny. Your vault was absolutely amazing. It really got the team so pumped and so motivated. That was like the best feeling ever. Like I've never done a vault like that. I yeah. saw the landing and it was just the best feeling ever. You were just so confident and so secure in everything. As soon as you started, I was like, I knew it, I knew it. Like her face was just so focused on just nailing that vault. I was so happy up on that runway and I just couldn't stop smiling. Moving on to the bars, Mars started us off with high flying release elements. She stuck to dismount, receiving a 9.925. Nora followed up with another amazing routine, scoring a career high 9.9. .9. And to end the rotation off with a bang, she's living up to her name, Kyla Boss, scoring a perfect 10 with an absolutely flawless routine. It's about time, even though it's the second meet of the season, but... <laughs> All of her routines are 10s. Kyla's always 10 in, in my heart. Yes. <laughs> she's my wife. <laughs> of six years. <laughs> Moving on to the balance beam, Kyla once again had another beautiful routine, scoring a 9.9. .9. Caitlin had a flawless routine in my eyes, scoring a 9.975, receiving a 10 from one judge. And in my opinion, it for sure should have been a 10. And Kenny over here had another super strong exhibition, scoring a 9.85. Honestly, up on the beam, I just couldn't even think of any of my corrections. I was just thinking, <laughs> wow, I'm so blessed to be up on this beam right now. <laughs> you were so rock solid. It was actually like amazing. Hmm, thanks, Fish. You're the best. <laughs> I know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We then moved on to the floor, which we had the most epic dance party, in my opinion. We had four consecutive 9.925s from Mars, Gracie, Pula, and Kyla. The floor party ended with Caitlyn doing what she does best, lighting up the arena and just having fun. Her unique choreography mixed with her super difficult tumbling passes earned her her first 10 of the season. The most awesome routine ever. Yeah. Really. And going back to what we said at the beginning, if you didn't know, well now you do, she was the one who went viral, having 30 plus million views on all social media platforms. Oh, it is now 40. Sorry, folks. Yesterday was 30. She got 10 more, 10 million more. Going up. It keeps Everybody going up. Keeps hitting that like. Everybody go like it. Go watch it. It is mind blowing, and it just goes to show like how much she's grown and how much she really loves and like has rediscovered her love for the sport again. It honestly just captures what this sport is supposed to be about. The Bruins ended with a win, scoring a 197.7. The Bruin fans don't know too much about you. You're still, you know, a baby Bruin. You're a <laughs> sophomore this year, but you're breaking into the lineups, which is super exciting. So what have you done from last year to this year to really just motivate you to want to be in lineups? Honestly, I just worked really, really hard this summer, and being around you guys just makes you want to be as amazing as the rest of the team is. So I trained all summer for that, and I came back and just tried to fit into the amazingness that is the UCLA gymnastics team. You worked your booty off this summer, and we both came in to UCLA for come work out all together because yeah. you and with Kyla and Savvy and stuff, we all just like really worked well together and really pushed ourselves this summer because we knew we wanted to win. Yeah, it was definitely important to have teammates pushing yeah. and just that support group was awesome. So you were a walk-on when you could have gone anywhere else on a full scholarship. What made you want to be a Bruin? I just couldn't think of any other place where I'd get 
the best of both worlds academically and athletically. It's been my dream school since I was six and watching you guys have so much fun, like that's what the sport has been to me for my whole life. And so like I just wanted that level of happiness. It's truly an amazing environment. Like it's one that I don't think I could find anywhere else in the country. No, absolutely, yeah. So I think it's really amazing that you grew up just like absolutely loving the sport when a lot of girls looked at it as more of a job yeah. than anything. My family was really all about when it stops being fun, then you try something else. And so that just really kept this fire in me. Mm -hmm. And gymnastics was always my choice. So it was never felt like a job. Right. Did you ever try any other sports? I definitely did. I played a lot of different sports. Soccer, I played golf, I tried softball, and then I went to baseball and I played on <laughs> an all boys team for like five years. Wow, oh my gosh, okay, she was hanging with the boys, you know. <laughs> I really like, that's awesome, that's really cool. And now moving on to Twitter questions. Okay, first one. This is from at 2015 bars champ. How has your perspective changed from club to college? The team environment here is so close and like it's such a big deal. But I think that my story in club gymnastics is a little bit different from most girls because I was team captain of my home gym as Aaron Gymnastics and the family environment there was really strong as well. So I think being able to come into another team has just been amazing. So my perspectives have just shifted into forming a new family. That's awesome and I think that kind of goes back to like always loving gymnastics yeah. and like the love started with the family. Yeah. You know, not a lot of girls experience that. Yeah, I was so, so lucky yeah. in club gymnastics to experience a little bit of that. Yeah. And then here it's just like heightened. <laughs> this question comes from at full in half out. Had you ever competed the for handspring pike before this year? How hard was it adding the half onto your level 10 vault? I've actually never competed that vault. I've only wow. competed for handspring front pikes. So competing it here was like awesome. Mm -hmm. And it took me a long time because I had some injuries in there. But with the coaching that I've had, Randy mm -hmm. definitely was a huge help. My coach is back at home. Really, it was fun yeah, to well, learn the new thing. <laughs> most people would think you'd be competing that for years because it was absolutely gorgeous. Like <laughs> yeah, almost a stuck landing. Numero uno. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> This question comes from at Her Majesty Kyla One, coming in with another great question this week. And they said, Hey Kenny, in freshman year you weren't really in contention for lineups, but this year, with a better team in my opinion, it looks like you are a great choice for vault and maybe beam. What has changed mentally and physically since freshman year? Love seeing your improvements, by the way. Aw, that's sweet. Definitely from freshman year, I'm just a whole another person. The energy I have around me is so positive, and I just like found my groove here at UCLA. Mm -hmm. And I just want it this year like I just it's this new want that I have and it's not even that like I want to make lineups because yes that's the goal for everyone but I just want my teammates to see me doing well like that's just my end goal is to just leave it all on the floor have no regrets win out I just want to do it for you guys <laughs> well your hard work and your determination to burst into the lineups has really motivated the rest of the team because we see you working hard and other girls working hard in the gym and the whole team just wants to work just as hard because motivating each other and pushing each other to be the best is how we're going to get there yeah it really is just hard work and like as long as you're willing to put in that work and just go for it 100 percent every single day you can't really be disappointed in yourself if you're just you're giving it your best yeah we see you working hard in the gym every day but not a lot of the fans get to see that you just have such great leadership qualities and Miss Val has said this to the whole team before and one of the reasons why she recruited you is because you have such great leadership skills and you lead by example. Definitely those values were instilled in me by my dad and so even though if you don't have the loudest voice or you're not scoring the most tens I feel like everybody has their certain role in a leadership position mm -hmm. so maybe I haven't stepped into those shoes completely yet but I'm definitely working my way towards that and I want to show the team that I do possess good leadership skills and I want those to be showcased eventually. I know a lot of girls on the team, myself included, will come up to you just for like words of wisdom, words of advice when things aren't going our way because you honestly know like the best things to say to make us feel better, to make us feel good, to motivate us to get back out there and try again. I think yeah a lot of that comes from my experience being a team captain at my club gym mm -hmm. and I think that honestly just being there for someone and listening and figuring out what the team needs is kind of how leadership works. Yeah, I 100% agree with yeah. that. <laughs> Don't forget to catch viral sensation Caitlin Ohashi and the rest of the Bruins at our next home meet on Monday, January 21st against Arizona State. The day off, a holiday, so what better thing to do than go see? Like, see us. Don't you want to <laughs> see these faces? <laughs> All right, until next time, we'll see you guys later.